The next great challenge in human spaceflight is Mars. And of course, Mars is very dusty. The problem is we don't know very much about the dust on Mars. We don't know anything about the electrical charge of the dust. But on an extended Mars mission, any dust in the air might be a significant respiratory hazard. So NASA is paying for us to develop an instrument that would go to Mars, maybe on a rover or a lander, and characterize the size and the charge of each dust particle. Mars has spectacular dust storms. These are like tornadoes, but they can last for months and they can span a large portion of the surface of Mars. We don't know a lot about how fine the particles are. We have some idea of the particles in the size range of several microns. But particles below that are the primary respiratory hazard. If that gets into the oxygen source, that could pose a great health risk to the astronauts. And they could be a significant hazard to mechanical systems as well. We currently have Mars rovers that rely on solar energy to operate. When the Martian dust collects charge, they tend to stick to these robots. If they cover up the solar panels, the robot will die. This more recent severe dust storm had a very sudden increase in atmospheric capacity, and so the rover couldn't generate any energy with that. And so we saw the rover just shut down. When a massive dust storm struck more than 100 days ago, there was nothing we could do at that point because it didn't have power to keep going. This concludes operations for MER-1 spacecraft ID. Flat day for all of us. This is a question that has to be answered before we make some of the final plans for a human mission to Mars. To understand the Martian dust, we need to measure the mass and charge directly by sending some instrument to do it. This project entails developing the sensors, understanding how they work, and then characterizing them we also have in our lab a setup where we generate charged particles. Mars dust is naturally charged, but here on Earth there's not anything that's naturally charged like that. Therefore, we need to create that charge. We start with a liquid suspension of dust grains. We spray it in a high electric field. We evaporate all the solvent and what's left is a charged dust grain. This is how we generate test particles, which we then put into our prototype analyzer. So this device operates on a principle called charge detection mass spectrometry. We detect the charge of the particles as they pass across the electrodes. In electrical engineering, they've been developing a low noise amplifier that will give us a much better signal off of the dust particles that we're testing. So this is on the screen. This is a microchip that we designed for a MOS dust detector project. Uh, it's a charge amplifier project. This amplifier is very interesting because it has a very small feedback capacitor. This feedback capacitor is about a thousand times smaller than anything you can buy on the shelf. So we're still fairly early in the development process of this instrument. We're hoping that we'll have something ready to propose to a flight mission maybe in three or four years. So it's exciting to be working on a project that might eventually find its way on another world. NASA projects are very ambitious. So it is very important that we provide a solution that is able to handle all the uncertainties associated with space. To have something that I help build and contribute to to go to Mars is an amazing feeling.